Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are going to take a look at how to get a free R&D vendor for your base. Basically, there's two ways you can get an R&D vendor. You can either purchase it from the marketplace or you can get it for free by gathering uh, uh, 10 collections, if I'm not mistaken. So let's take a look. So the 10 collections you need are the Ace Chemicals Employee Training FAC. So you can see the first one is, uh, can I dump toxic chemicals into the ocean? What if I fall into an open vat of chemicals? How do I know if I've ingested lethal chemicals? Do I really have to wear my hazmat suit? What do I do if my chemicals gain sentience? I have more limbs than I used to, is this okay? Can I take radio radioactive material home with me? Should I store chemicals in the break room? When is bring your daughter to work day? Should we really have so many toxic barrels? So those of you just wanted to know how to get the free R&D vendor, uh, that is how. You get those 10 collections and you get the free R&D vendor by mail. If you are a legendary player, you can purchase the collections from the broker if you like. But if you are a free to play player, you can still get those collections completely for free, but you're gonna have to farm for them around Ace Chemicals. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Ace Chemicals and we're going to go farm for collections. So we can see here one, one here right now. Uh, the area on, around Ace Chemicals is not that big, but I would uh, strongly suggest if, you're, if you've never farmed for those collections uh, yet, uh, maybe use a radar enhancer uh, at least once or twice to be able to learn where the collections uh, actually spawn. I will show you where the collections do spawn in this video, or well, at least where at least uh, some of those collections do spawn in this video. And to do that, uh, I'm going to use a radar enhancer. But as you can see, there's uh, there's quite a few that we can get even without using a radar. The area around Ace Chemicals is not that big, so technically you don't really need to use a radar enhancer to be able to get the the collections. But there's a, as you can see, there's quite a whole, a whole uh, places where uh, collections can be hidden. So again, at first, if you've never farmed for collections in this area, you may want to do it at least once using a radar enhancer, at least to learn where the collections actually spawn. So I'm, I'm going to activate the radar enhancer. The radar enhancer lasts for 15 minutes. And basically what we're going to do is that, uh, it, what it's going to do is that we're going to be able to see the, the collections as question marks on our mini map. I'd seen this one before activating the radar, but uh, I just wanted to be able to show it to you. Also, the collections do make some sort of noise. Like you can hear the... Hopefully over the music, you can hear the noise that the collection is making. So what you could easily do in this area is just fly around with your character and listen for the collections. Here you may have to fight a few NPCs uh, sadly. If you're a low level player it may be a bit uh, challenging, if you're a high level player it doesn't really matter. So there's usually collections uh, around Ace Chemicals and also around uh, this part here. Again here, yeah, you're gonna have to be a bit uh, careful if you're low level. There's a whole bunch of mutants who can be a bit tough uh, to to fight for low level players. And as you can see, some of those collections appear smack in the middle of uh, a whole bunch of enemies. Uh, having a shield usually is a good idea. If you activate your shield, it gives you plenty of time to gather the collection so that you don't waste too much time fighting the enemies. If you're a tiny bit careful, you should be able to not attract enemies, but uh, once in a while, uh, you, you have no choice. You have to fight a few NPCs for certain collections. So as, again, as you saw, as you heard, 
the collections do make some sort of noise. Uh, obviously, if you're using the radar and answer, you don't really need to listen for the collections. But if you want to be able to farm for collections without using a radar and answer, uh, then you're gonna have to, to fly around and keep a, an ear open to listen for those collections. There's a few that you can get a bit further away from uh, Ace Chemicals. Like basically there's the big uh, parking lot here, there's that uh, building over there where there's a few collections sometimes. And of course, uh, if you farm for collection in this area, you are going to be multitasking. You're going to be gathering collections for, for a few things. If you guys remember, we've been here before to get for some other amenities. So basically, if you come here to farm and farm for collections, you're going to be farming uh, for collections for more than one amenities at once. And also for a few other things uh, other than amenities. Been a while since I farmed in here, so I I kind of forgot uh, what you can get other than amenities in this area. So you probably are going to have to look it up uh, if you really want to know. But uh, once you gather all the collections, uh, you you will know. Uh, once in a while, there's uh, some collections that I gather where I have no idea what uh, what to expect. So sometimes it's a sometimes it's a nice surprise to see what we get. Sometimes it's a, a little bit disappointing. Uh, the only time where I'm really disappointed is when we get uh, marks of victory. I guess once upon a time that might have been useful, but nowadays when we get marks of victory as a reward for collections, uh, it's a bit uh, it's a bit disappointing. And of course, you can get you can gather uh, you can gather exhibits uh, as well as uh, collections as you as you do your farming. I uh, completely forgot where that one is. Uh, sadly, there's no miracle solution I can suggest for you to, to farm for collections. At the end of the day, you have no choice. You fly around, you keep an ear open, and hope to hear uh, collections. If you have a bunch of radar and answer like I do that you're, you've accumulated, you can use those. Uh, basically, as you're, the game does give you, I think uh, it does give you one or two free radar and answers as you uh, level up your character to level 30. But that's probably the only time when you're, when you're going to get the uh, free radar and answers. Uh, basically, the stack I got, I didn't really purchase uh, radar and answers, but uh, sometimes uh, some time capsules would actually give uh, radars. So that's how I was able to accumulate uh, a whole bunch of radar and answers. Uh, basically, uh, I open uh, time capsule. I've opened pretty much every type of time capsules we got so far. And uh, some time capsules would give us radar and answers, some not so much. I have to admit, I never really paid attention, so I'm not sure if the current time capsules uh, actually give us uh, radars or not. If you really need uh, radars, you can purchase some uh, in the marketplace. If you're a legendary player, you do get uh, you do get loyalty points, so you could use uh, loyalty points to get uh, radar and answers for free. Uh, if you're if you play on PC, uh, you don't get you don't get loyalty points. You get the uh, daybreak cash, if I'm not mistaken. So again, you could use that free daybreak cash to purchase uh, radar and answers for free if you want to. But if you're a completely free to free to play player, uh, then there's no miracle. You have to you're you're going to get like two uh, maybe two free radar and answers, and after that you're gonna have to to farm uh, the hard way without any radars at all. But again, there's a few a few places. Uh, basically, after a couple of times, you're going to learn where. The, after a while, after farming and farming, you're going to learn where. 
the, the collections that actually spawn. So, uh, so, and you're going to be able to listen for them. Uh, one trick I guess that I can suggest is uh, if you turn down the, 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 the music, or even better, if you just uh, shut it off, uh, then it allows you to really just listen uh, for the, the collections. So if you turn down the volume of the music, you turn up the volume maybe for the effects, uh, you should have no problem uh, hearing collections as you fly around uh, Ace Chemicals. Actually, it's something you can do whenever you, you want to do to farm for collections. Uh, I did that for quite a while. At some point, I would just uh, turn off the music. And uh, that was enough to be able to hear the collections. But nowadays, uh, there's a few places where I usually go to farm for collections. So, and I by now pretty much know by heart where all the collections are in the areas where I farm. So I, 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 don't, I don't bother with uh, turning down the sound anymore. But if you haven't done uh, much farming, or if you're farming in a new area that you don't know very well, uh, turning uh, turning off the music and turning up the uh, the effects that could do the trick. Ideally, you're going to want to farm with a character that will not get attacked with uh, by NPCs. So if you can go to an area where uh, NPCs won't attack uh, heroes, for example, then use your hero character. Uh, if there's areas where NPCs uh, don't attack villains, then I would suggest you use your villain characters. Although in this area, I think heroes or villains, you get attacked either way. So I don't think it makes uh, much of a difference. And also, uh, if, you, if your character is high level enough, if the combat rating of your character is high enough, it won't matter, you're going to be able to, to defeat uh, NPCs in this area easily enough. Or to avoid them uh, more easily. As you can see, I, I just need to uh, use my uh, quantum tunneling and I can get away from uh, the evil NPCs that try to, to hurt me. I know there's there's lots of people who don't they don't basically gathering farming for collections is almost a, a meta game within this universe online or an, a side game, and I guess it is. Or, or play, playing the broker also could uh, could probably count as one of those. But basically, I know a lot of people don't seem to want or like farming for collections very much. But once you get used to it. Uh, it's uh, it's relaxing enough. Maybe a bit frustrating at first because you don't really know where the collections uh, do spawn, but after a while, uh, you 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 learn you learn where they get, where to get the collections. I would suggest if you farm for collections to do so with a uh, flying character. So if you have multiple characters, I would strongly suggest use a flying character, but you can farm with uh, with any characters. It's just personally I prefer with a flying character, I just uh, fly around. I find it very relaxing to fly in this universe online. So usually I just fly around, keep an ear open, or an eye open, and uh, gather whatever collections I can find. So here we have uh, someone who's... Uh, who's playing his tier 4 missions. I guess he didn't know about the collections, or he was too busy to pick it up, or he didn't care. It happens. In this area, unless you're looking, uh, unless you really need uh, the, to have the free amenities in your base, uh, there's little, little reasons to, to farm for collections. I guess you could farm for collections to sell them on the, on the broker. But uh, if 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 your goal is to sell uh, stuff on the broker, there's you don't have to set, to to farm for specific collections. There's a whole bunch of uh, of places where you, where you can farm for collections. So it's been uh, it's been a long time since I, I actually did uh, farming in this area. I did that the other day for the uh, some other amenities for you guys. But uh, I don't farm in this area very often anymore. So 
So the radar lasts uh, for 15 minutes. If you if you look at the mini map, you can see a little uh, magnifying glass. Basically, that tells me that the radar announcer is uh, is activated, and it usually lasts for 15 minutes. Ideally, you want to spend that time uh, farming for collections. You don't want to spend it uh, to waste your time uh, fighting NPCs, which is why I usually suggest uh, if you're playing, let's say, a hero character, uh, go farm in an area where uh, where NPCs don't attack heroes, and the same uh, if you're playing a villain character, go somewhere where villains uh, aren't being attacked by NPCs. For example, around uh, Steelworks, a lot of NPCs, of uh, pretty much all the NPCs in that area, only attack villains. So if you need to do some farming around the Steelworks, use the uh, villain characters. But there's places like here, Striker Island, uh, even Arkham Island, whether you're a hero or a villain, NPCs will attack you either way. So there's some areas where if you go there to farm, then you should uh, you should go there with a somewhat higher high level uh, character. So you don't need to go very far uh, to farm for the collections. You just stick around the Ace Chemicals. It's been a while since I'm in here, so I'm not sure how far you need to go to. Yeah, you, you can go to get those collections. Usually, I pretty much stick uh, very close to to Ace Chemicals. But it could be, uh, it could be that there's a collection all the way up to the bridge. I've never really been there, I have to admit. I went to the bridge. Uh, there's a, a mission or two that we can uh, play on the bridge, but that's pretty much the only time where I really went uh, there. And I don't recall if there was a collections or not. Obviously, then. You don't have to farm only for collections. If you see exhibits, pick them up. And even once in a while, um, I'll defeat NPCs. If it's been a while, if I have been flying around for a while and haven't found collections, I defeat an NPC to get uh, maybe sometimes to get. Uh, let's see if we're going to get some. Sometimes to get uh, ant metal. So if you've been if you've been flying around and around for a while, yeah, sometimes you can defeat an an evil NPC and uh, get some uh, some free ant metal. So my point is that you can you can multitask. You don't have to farm for a single type of collection. You can farm for a whole bunch of stuff all at once. Oh, and my radar is not working anymore. But and there's still one collection here. So again, once you once you know where the spots are, where collections are spawn, you don't really need the radar for that. Uh, once you know where they do spawn, you can just go near there, open an ear. And uh, or open an eye, and then you can either uh, hear them or see them. But uh, also, I'm using the radar because I could I could farm and farm for an hour, two hours, three hours, forever. So to make sure that I don't uh, overdo it, uh, now that the radar is down, we're going to go to our lair to look uh, at how valuable the collections are on the broker. So if you guys have watched my other videos, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, how many collections we got. Nah, I still have some from uh, Arkham Island I didn't uh, sell so yet. So you can see there's quite a few collections that we can gather in that area. And we got a few uh, that we were actually looking for. So we got uh, some Ace Chemical Employee Training Fact. Uh, we seem to have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so as you can see, we got a whole bunch of different collections, and we got eight of the collections we were looking for, uh, which is uh, no small feat. Uh, if you guys probably remember, there's a few times when we did farm for collections, and we were like uh, lucky to get a handful of collections. And amongst that, the handful of collections we got, we only got like maybe two collections that we really needed. So as you can see, uh, in this case, we did get quite a few, a uh, few collections, and uh, quite a few collections that we needed. So as you can see, we got pretty lucky. We got uh, eight collections, 
and we got six different collections. So just uh, by farming one time, we were lucky enough to get six of the collections we needed. So uh, we would still need uh, four more collections, and we would have all the collections we needed to get our free uh, R&D station. And if we look on the broker, you can see, uh, can I dump toxic chemicals into into the ocean? Uh, it seems to be worth about 140,000. How do I know if I have ingested the uh, lethal chemicals? Um, a little less than 100,000. What if I fall into an open chemical vat? Uh, that one, we don't know how much it is. Uh, roughly, I would probably try somewhere between 500,000 and a million. Should I store chemicals uh, in the break room? Uh, about half a million. Do I, do I really have to wear my hazmat suit? 75,000. And I have more limbs than I used to? 100,000. So we got, if, once we, if we sell all those collections, we'll make um, at least uh, some money. Also, people often ask me, how do you make money in this universe online? It's quite simple. You have to sell items on a broker. Ideally, I, I suggest uh, selling collections because you can sell, sell collections as much as you like. And you have to sell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. Uh, sadly, as you can see, I only have uh, about a million dollar left. Uh, the reason for that is quite simple. I, I spend my money as quickly as I earn it. So basically, whenever I have a bit of cash, I look on the broker, I look if there's a collections, if there's styles, if there's uh, something I need. And uh, usually, I, I pretty much spend it as quickly as I earn it. It's sad, but uh, that's how it goes. So that's pretty much it for how to get a free R&D vendor. So basically, you need uh, 10 collections. Either you buy those collections from the broker, if you're a legendary player, or you farm and farm and farm until you get all 10 collections. And free-to-play player can farm for those collections without spending a single cent if they want to. So you can get it for free if you do want. But if you don't want to farm and farm for collections, and you're a legendary player, then sure, you can purchase some of those collections from the broker. Or even better, if you really don't want to farm at all, you can just buy the, the R&D vendor from the marketplace if you want to. So that, that is pretty much the last of our videos on how to get the free amenities. Uh, before somebody asks, for the teleporter, sadly, there's no, no magical uh, solution. You have to buy the teleporter from the marketplace, or you can buy it from the loyalty vendor. Technically, you, you can't really get the teleporter for free, but what you can do is that you could accumulate your loyalty points and buy it for free on the loyalty vendor. Or you could use the, the daybreak cash that you get for free with your membership and purchase it that way, quote unquote, for free. But other than that, there's no real way to be able to get a teleporter for free in this universe online. The better option, I would say, is uh, Wait until there's some sort of sale and buy it at half price. Or use uh, your loyalty points or use your free daybreak cash that you get with your subscription. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below. And I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.